Hello, today I'm here with a new video and today I'm here with the last part of palette of the month for May. And I have been using Demundas from Urban Decay this month and this is my third video and I think I know what I want to do. The palette looks like this if you didn't know. So far I have used four. I am going to use only two shades today, I think. So it will end up with me not using these two, lithium and granite, I think. I don't know, but I think it would be like that. So I am going to use Magnetic, the purple one, and Vega, the blue one today. So I just think we get started. So I am thinking about do to do two different eyes, so I'm going to do one blue eye and one purple eye. And I have taken out the Creepy Cute from Shroud and Sh Certified Tropical Wonders. Um, so I think I'm going to use both of these palettes together with the Moon Dust. But I'm going to start with the Creepy Cute and I'm of course taking Cold Shoulder on one eye and Plush Planchetta on the other eye and then I'm thinking about like deepening down my crease with some shades from Tropical Wonders and then just smack the two from Moon Dust all over my lid. I think I will do that at least. So I will start and think about doing this eye blue and this eye purple. I'm pretty sure that I want to do that. So I'm going to start with Cold Shoulder. And it has actually been more fun than I would ever imagine to oh my god um to do looks with the moon dust palette. I have like not used it that much at all. Okay, so I have like forgotten about how amazing this palette is, but I still feel like I want to go in with something to deepen it down a little bit because the shades in the moon dust are pretty dark so uh, let's see i think i will take atlantic on the blue eye and maybe i will see with that so i will start with atlantic on the blue eye and just pop it in with a smaller brush And then, okay, I have like three shades that I am thinking about. I will take Starling, this dark purple, and just take it on the side. Okay, I think I want to clean a little bit more. A little bit more with the blue, the Atlantic, and just take it a little bit more on this eye. To make it a little bit darker. And why do I speak like this? I don't know. And I have a mirror there, so, and it's no mirror in this palette, that's why. Okay, and now I don't know if I need to take a glitter glue or not. Maybe I'll try without the glitter glue first. So I will go in with Vega, 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 <laughs> and Magnetic. So Vega on this one and Magnetic on this one. And we will try with Vega without glitter glue. Because I still haven't like set my my shirt on here okay I think I want to go in with the glitter glue just to make it really really intense maybe it's nothing like you have to do but I feel like I want to have it 
so 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 intense like the most intense I can get it and not to take any shade <laughs> under it so it feels like I have to go in with clear glue okay and now we're going in with Vega we will see how much Like, do you see the difference that the clear glue does? And yeah, of course, the clear glue do amazing. It should do, but... Uh. First, when I was planning on taking this... Okay, I should... I can take it, talk about it in my little review part at the end. So, I just have to hold on to this one foot and okay this one I like get amazed with all the new shades I'm trying from this palette this looks amazing I love this is done. Now we want to see if the magnetic is the same amazingness as the Vega. Okay, and now we will see the magnetic. Feels like this has some blue in it. And it does. looks also so freaking cool I I really like it it's like I have found my love for like glitters and like super shimmery chunky eyeshadows it was like what happened there but I really really like it I mm, mm, mm. I liked it so much I think though I will go in with just a blending brush with no product on it and just swoop it a little bit in my crease so far I like this eye better than this, but I really like this. So I will take away the fallouts, fix my base and my brows, and I think I will keep the under eyes the same. Um, maybe no shimmer and uh, because I like, sometimes I like to like switch it. So take both of the colors blue so it should be blue on this lower lash and purple on this but I also love to keep it like the same color the whole eye because I think it looks cool with two different eyes so I will have it like that today so I will fix my base and my brows and then I come back okay so base and everything is on and for my under eyes I will do the same but I will not take um the shadows from the moon dust palette so I will just Fix this a little quick and why does it always itch here? So I think I will just fast forward this. And then I will go in with the shades from the Tropic Wonders. So, okay, I will take something in my wash line. I'm thinking about it taking something dark or something light. I will see. So I will fix that put on mascara, try to choose a lip before this. Right now I have no idea at all. But yeah, I'll fix that and then I come back. So this is the finished look and I 
kind of love this look actually. For my wash line I used the TLA uh, on this side and piggy bank on this side, both from Colourpop. On my lips I used a lip tonic from Kaleidos in Immersion and yeah, I really like this. So, a little recap maybe of what I have used from the Creepy Cute. I used the blue cold shoulder and planchette, 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 planchette. Um, the purple one, let's drop the palettes. From Tropical Wonders from Certify, I used Starling and Atlantic. And then for the main event that is upside down, I used Magnetic and Vega. So I was thinking to do a little like review on this palette because I've used a little bit more. I have used all the shades except for two of them. So what do I think about this? Now I actually really like it. I feel though that I really want to use like a glitter glue or a glitter primer. I used the one from NYX. I think this is so so good. Um, I like that all the shades that I have used at least, it's these two that I haven't used, granite and lithium. I think I've used lithium in uh, before. Maybe granite as well, I don't know. But all the others I've used and I really like that them all. They stick so good to the glitter primer and they are really like... Why do I try to explain this? Because I can't. But they are really, really nice. It's just not like a blue. Like this Vega, it's not like only blue, it has some dimension to it and it has a darker base and this magnetic, the purple one, it is, it has a little bit of blue but it also has like a grey base, I feel like so. They are so good to have like on their own, they look really good to have on something, like in the first look I've used Element, this one and did like a faux halo. It looked amazing as well. So I really like this. But it is, at least in Sweden, I don't know how Urban Decay is like maybe in the US. But in Sweden, Urban Decay is pretty expensive. I think this is around $50. Um, it was a long time ago since I bought this. But around $50 I would say. And it's only eight shades and they are not so big i actually don't know yeah it's not even one gram in these so it's not a lot of products you get but at the same time i don't think that you are going to use this palette as you use like a normal matte shade but i feel that this palette is really good I think that you can have something or that you can find cheaper colors that perform like this even though I think these are really good. So if you want this palette, buy it. It is nothing wrong with it. I like all the free looks I've done. I think I will keep using this a little bit more now after this month and I'm so happy that I actually choose this for me because I've used it more than ever before. <laughs> I think I've used it maybe three times before this and now I've used it three times again. So that I'm really happy about and I actually like the package. It's, it's pretty like bulky but <laughs> it's plastic but it feels really good. It doesn't feel cheap and I really like the front of the palette. It's like yeah you can feel it. I don't know why I try to um, the only thing maybe is, it has a mirror, I liked it, it, the shadows has a lot of kick up, I don't know if you can see, but mine is pretty dirty, it's like the element is all over, and all the other shades that I've used, it has like specks all over, of course you can clean it very easy because it is plastic, so yeah, 
I like it. I don't know though if I would buy it again because it feels like I can find the same shades or similar shades for low price. But if you want this palette and you like Urban Decay, I recommend it. That sounds super strange to like. I wouldn't buy it again, but I recommend it. But I hope that you get what I mean. So yeah, that was all for this video and all with the Moondust palette. Maybe it will come back in some videos. Maybe I just use it off YouTube. I don't know, but I am trying this year to use more of the products I already have. So I really hope that you have liked all these videos. I It has been fun to play with this palette. That's all I can say. So yeah. I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I will see you in the next one. Bye!